if psychedelics do promote a runaway feedback process in the brain, part of the psychedelic experience is learning how to control that feedback modulation in your own brain. And traditionally, the way the shaman does it is through rhythmic stimulation, either drumming, chanting, atonal droning, or getting the, the tribe all together on the same frequency. And this, I think, is the most important aspect of the shamanic experience, of the, of the shamanic protocol, is getting everybody tuned to the same frequency. And the way they do that is simple. I mean, the drumming, the chanting. In, in modern cultures, we have the DJ, the whoever sets the beat, whoever sets the tone, sets the level of the trip. Now, for house music, for dancing all night, you want 130 BPM. For trance music, you want 144 BPM. And these two different modes create different, completely different mindsets in the people who are listening to them. Some people prefer house music under the influence of psychedelics because that's the beat they like. Some people prefer classical music because it allows them to relax and get the visions. Some people like trance music because they get the energy and the visions, whereas house music is more all about the physical movement and the dancing. These different rhythms all drive the psychedelic experience by modulating this, this feedback intensity in the brain. And so if we're going to study a spirit, a spirit formation or a spirit entity or a spirit gateway in the brain, we need to find out what that rhythmic stimulus is that most precisely targets that state and find a way to drive people up into that space instead of just you know, administering the drug and letting them lie down and find this, finding the space for themselves, the shaman doesn't do that. The shaman will lead you into the space, leave you there, and then pull you back out. But once you get into the space, the drug basically does the rest of the work for the shaman. So in terms of testing this, this spirit world theory, you need to find out what that what I call the optimal rate of recursion in the brain is the optimal rate of feedback recursion to bring about that spirit manifestation. And once you find that, once you find that rate, what the frequency is, what the rhythmic stimulus is, it should be very easy to propel anybody on psychedelics into that state. This is the trick of the shaman. Once the shaman learns the trick of how to lead the person into that state, they can do it over and over and over again to, with anybody. And this is, it's a ritual. It's just a, something you practice and you learn how to do. And the shaman, in doing this, leads the user towards the experience that the shaman wants the user to have. It takes a little bit of the control away from the user. So if the shaman wants you to have a healing experience, he'll lead you into a healing state. If he wants you to have a visual experience, he'll lead you into a visual state. If he wants you to have a contact with the spirits, experience, he'll lead you up into a contact with the spirit state. Now, I've been in psychedelic circles, groups, group trips, where there's been drumming, where there's been uh, drumming and chanting and just very primitive rhythmic drivers for the experience. And I found that for most people, they find a comfortable sort of plateau where they want the experience to stay, and, and they'll keep that rhythm. They'll keep that rhythm and they'll beat that rhythm. And if somebody in the group wants to cycle up higher, the rest of the group will, will drown them down and bring them back down to the rhythm that the group wants. And this is a very homeostatic sort of loose uh, thing that happens in the group. However, when you have groups that don't have that rhythmic control that are on the same basis, you have people who are falling out of the circle, people who are passed out on the floor, people who are up dancing, people who are in the corner making out. There's no control to what's going on in the group, group experience unless you have that, that, rhythmically stimu that rhythmic stimulation that keeps everybody at the same level. Whether it's music, whether it's chanting, whether it's dancing, it doesn't matter. As long as that rhythmic stimulation is there, that will keep the person at the level that they need to be for the experience.